<laughs> hello, hello, Conchetta. How are you today? Hi, Lauren. It's a pleasure to be here again. Love it. An absolute pleasure to be here in my own home, connected by the internet. In my home, that bl- looking at your blurry face because of our in- different oh. internet connections, I probably look so <laughs> clear to you. And you don't. You look, so- you look horrible. <laughs> it's Thanks. on your end, though. <laughs> Thanks, Queen. Uh, <laughs> um, and we are joined by a guest today. Very excited to pronounce that our guest is. See, look, I say I'm going to introduce the guest, and then do I have any planning? Do she I have a any blackout for it? She's a blackout. No. She's like big natural talent. My, of- <laughs> uh, my brain shuts down. <laughs> Anyway, um, we have with us comedian, podcaster, friend, former housemate of mine. Total Abel girl boss. Woo. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for having me on. I'm so excited. I've been so deprived of gossip and friendship. <laughs> totally. And- there is so oh, much yeah. like pussy power in this um, episode today. I can already feel it. <laughs> Honestly, you guys should be scared. If you weren't planning on growing a pussy, you need to turn this podcast off right fucking now. Turn it off, guys. And if you are like going through menopause, well, we are going to fill you up on some estrogen, progesterone today. So those hot flushes, yeah. they'll be gone, baby. Yeah. You Don't are. start going Back. raw. You're fertile again. Get scared. <laughs> yes, you're fertile again. Your vagina is more moisturized again you are no longer dry so thank you so much for listening um that was a crazy digression um and i don't think we have any old women listeners i would love some though old women if you're out there uh get in touch get in the dms let us know how old you are and what it's like um yeah beck have you watched hacks lauren and i just finished watching hacks and we've been where we've been obsessed with the older woman young woman dynamic and we feel Like now Lauren's like obsessed with this older woman. She wants to tour with an older woman. And I'm like, no, do it with me still. (laughs) I want an old lady to be mean with me. (laughs) And be like, I just started watching it last night. And it's so weird. I just kind of like, I always am nervous about shows that have stand up in them. Yeah. Because like, they're just like constantly doing like one liners at each other and being like, that's how you should do that line better. And I'm like, oh man, that's how I talk to <laughs> comedians at all i'm like i'm sad i'm worried about my trauma yeah, like, how do yeah. I see- you like see them do a line on stage and you're like um i know for a fact that would actually cr- um bomb at power bomb you're yeah, like, yeah. That's actually not work. <laughs> like if mrs yeah. mazel got up at happy endings comedy club in king's cross and she just got up there and she was like my husband's driving me crazy and i've got kids and they want to breastfeed like that's i'm like honey you've got no punchlines absolutely actually. not yeah this i go just up a there. lot of complaining lady <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the rest of yada, us have yada. 10 minutes of pussy jokes with hard punchlines, okay? Yeah. Let any of Tighten us go up. up. You know, it's a whole different story. <laughs> um, you know what's you actually just started crazy? It, you're liking it? Yeah, well, what bothers me about it is because they're like, oh, this girl doesn't get any work because her jokes are too dirty. And I was like, <laughs> that's a bit hack that's uh, as the title ah. of the show would say Whoa. but uh, then uh i was told by someone recently i've missed out on several jobs because my material <laughs> is too fucking dirty <laughs> oh my god i explicitly would not want to know that information yeah of literally no. how much i am being rejected yeah yeah oh i'm gonna god. tell me right never say anything bad has ever happened to me i'll cry <laughs> yeah absolutely i've actually made the mistake um of like I have this habit now whenever like my manager comes to me being like, Hey, like, um, do you, can you give us a writing package or like, do you give us this? Or we're like putting you forward for this thing or like these people are doing this thing and we want to put you forward for it. I'm like, Oh, did they ask for me? And they're like, no, but we're just trying to get you in. Like, <laughs> cause I'm, I'm always just getting like Aaron Chen's rejected offer. Like, yes. oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like really they, picking up his scraps. They have no yeah. idea who you are, but we are going to push no. as hard as we can. <laughs> He's like, no, like, we're, like, no one's ever asking for you, but. <laughs> That's exactly how management work. People, okay, industry gossip. This is exactly how management work. Management sign like a, they have one like famous mm-hmm. massive client who's hugely successful. And then every That's dumbass is like, oh, I can book them for my fucking son's 18th for like $200. <laughs> no, 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 no. So they're like, no, you cannot. But instead, here's the rest of our clientele with just dollar signs getting smaller and smaller next to their faces. I like to call it the Dave Hughes trickle down effect. I was going to say, 
Dave Hughes. They asked for Dave Hughes. They're getting Dave Hughes plus everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> like that. It's like yeah. a babushka dolls of like all comics. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming. They're asking for Dave Hughes. They're getting Conchetta Carissa. <laughs> and it's a different demographic. It's not what they expected. It's But it's what they could afford. Yeah. <laughs> She's more your price range. Oh, my I God. I was on a Zoom so gig. Funny. And these people were like, because you can hear them like in the waiting room beforehand before you like reveal yourself into mm-hmm. the chat. And they're all oh, like, no. I wonder who it's going to be. Oh, I hope it's like, they said it was a woman. So maybe it's like Judith Lucy or like Kitty <laughs> Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's Get so ready funny. For this little slut. <laughs> oh my God, Beck, that's so funny. I was literally talking to Lauren about how, like, did you see the, the VIP Big Brother list? And everyone's being like, what the fuck like who are these people and yes. Lauren and I said to Lauren I was like who are these people and then at the same time I'm like angry at the TV for not putting like me or any of us on because they're <laughs> like we're nobodies do you know what I mean I'm both like who the fuck is this this is so stupid and then demanding that I get a TV break yeah, and yeah. I'm a nothing nobody <laughs> but it's different because you're very talented and funny okay oh that's so true okay. I would crush next to Caitlyn Jenner like for oh, real this is the thing <laughs> oh, though with yeah. comedians it's like give us a chance we have personality and we're funny yeah. whereas it's like you're yeah. getting this influencer on who has a million what followers what the fuck are they gonna yeah. do what is exciting yeah, so about boring. them but then it's- people do watch their content that's what like boggles my mind i'm always like but then i get sucked in too and i'm watching like this like in- instagram influencers stories and it's like you know when you- there's someone's story it has so many stories it's like a oh. line of little dots mm-hmm. oh yeah like yeah. a pearl like necklace that- Oh, yeah, it's like a pearl necklace line every single day of them, like, talking to camera. Just about everything. They're like, so this morning I had oats, <laughs> and I eat. everyone knows that I'm obsessed with oats, and I make my oats in this way. And I'm like, why is anyone watching this? I'm watching this, though. Aren't Lauren, I? that's so. why I don't know any news, because that's all I'm, like, that's yeah. the only content I consume. Sorry, th- there's been this <laughs> yeah. thing this week, Beck, that this Lauren week, should tell and I you. Wanted- I did. I wanted to get your opinion as well, Beth. Right. Because, okay, I feel like <laughs> I don't even, like, go out of my way to watch that much news, but, like, I know what's going on, and I'm mm. aware of things, and I'm not talking, like, about, like, what wars are happening and why, because that is even a level above my level of knowledge. But I just say things to Conchetta, like, <laughs> offhand, and she has no idea. Like, the <laughs> other day she messaged me at, like, 7 p.m. with the COVID cases of that day, and she was like, did you hear that there's 356 cases today? And I'm like, I'm, like, so jealous that you didn't know that at 11.01 a.m. Yeah. I didn't yes. know all day. I didn't know there what? was can COVID conspiracy theorists. I didn't know anything about the blood what? clots and AstraZeneca. <laughs> like, I... And everyone is like, Conchetta, what the fuck? And I'm like, what? what's going on? I even, like, I made some joke about, you know how Coon Cheese changed their name to Chia Cheese? Yeah. yeah. It happened months ago. Mm. I just had some, my dad sent me a funny message about that, like, being a racist old man. And I was like, this is so funny. <laughs> Shit dad say. And Conchetta was like, and I was like, what? what? I was like, what's this? What? <laughs> what's Who's cheese? This? What? What's and- Chia Cheese? I've never... How do this? And I was like, what, what do you do? <laughs> I don't know. And that's the secret. I don't really know what yeah. I'm doing, but I'm in my own so, little bubble. Lauren yeah. thinks I live a blessed life. I'm just busy, like, I know. Eating pasta, epilating my legs, laying <laughs> down in one room and the next, I'm walking <laughs> yeah. in the sun. You know, I'm not I'm wearing waiting. SPF. <laughs> I'm so jealous of that. Like, that's <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Don't let anyone tell you that's not a way to live because fuck Thank you. me what I wouldn't Thank give. Because I've turned mm-hmm. off like all of my news updates. Mm-hmm. Like I've started promising myself. I'm like, I don't look at the 11 o'clock update. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, that's too much. Nothing. As soon as I see it, I just like sit down. I'm like, well, what's the point of doing anything <laughs> today? So I'm need- like, and it still gets through and it still like comes up wow. on my fucking phone. And like, that's also crazy. like, I think cause I'm obsessed with celebrity gossip. So it's oh, always like, yes. mm. I'll look at those feeds, but then they'll throw in there like, <laughs> and by the way, the government's uh, hurting animals somewhere. I'm like, I didn't want to, yeah. just let me know what Blake mm. Lively's doing. Fuck. 
That's that's more my style. I feel like, yeah, knowledge is power, but also ignorance is bliss. And that's where yeah. I choose to sort of live in the space of. But do I know if the if Kim Kardashian went to Kanye's concert and it's caused a stir? Yes, I do. Somehow that's getting in. <laughs> <laughs> but do I am I also ready and knowledgeable to rebut that and saying, actually it wasn't controversial, she was invited. They are great friends and co parents. And it's an amicable split, actually. And that's so. where Lauren always has a deeper knowledge, a deeper understanding. Yeah. It comes through with the details. <laughs> yeah, like I can kind of skate on like, you know, out, out, like outside knowledge basically. I'm like, oh yeah, like Yemen, the conflict, in that mm-hmm. yeah, that's bad and things. And then it's someone's like Kim Kardashian and I'm like, well, actually. Um, <laughs> so I'm glad to know that I'm not alone in my like terrifying knowledge of the news back. I'm glad that you're here with me. Yeah, yeah she, it's hard too. talking to Conchetta. They know someone who's just. Love it. Oh, my God. Um, also, speaking of news, here's a news story I am across, and I want to know if you're across it too, Beck. Did you see that there's been a doctor who's been pretending mm. to be one for, like, nine months? What that- the fuck? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I've got the story. So she was a – um, she was, like, training to be a doctor, but she failed awesome. her final exams. Wow. But then she still just, like, applied for and somehow, like, scammed. She falsified documents and stuff and then got a job as a doctor. Wow. At, I think it was – Bankstown Hospital, and she would oh just work God. there as a doctor for like okay. nine months. Here's with my fake question: Do you what? guys think it's because she was like hot or charming? This is my question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like people always say that like hot people get away with things. Like, wait, is there photos of her? I'm God, I wish. Now Imagine they like oh link her Instagram. <laughs> oh my God. How big are her tits? But yeah, they only know would have to have photos up of her because, like, otherwise, I don't like, know. People should know. Oh, there's no, no photos. There's no photos. I hate Mm-mm. that. But, like, don't you think there's psychologically, her name. how could this have been possible? Fucking, well, have you seen Dr. Death? Apparently, yes! anything is possible. Mm. Apparently, yes. doctors don't know anything. None oh of us my are God. safe. Dr. Death, I can't believe you know it, Beck. I've been, like, forcing Lauren to get across it, and she has, but, like, Dr. I Death blew it. my I've mind. I've watched it, and I've listened. I know, but I told you about it. Sorry. Sorry, we're fighting. Uh, I'm sorry, we're fighting. like, I had one bit of news and I'm allowed to tell you about it. Okay. I'm allowed to talk about it for months that I'm the one that brought it to people's attention. Dr. Death blew my mind. And again, this is a plug for anyone who doesn't know about it. But th- th- when, when they said that he had done like maybe like 100 or less than 100 surgeries instead of what should have been 2,000, mm. that just blew me away. You know? Yeah. So if anyone doesn't know, Dr. Death is a podcast and now Stan series about like a really horrible man, like kind of psychopath who was a mm, spinal a hottie. In- That's why he got away I- with it. Kind of. He's I don't know. It's not a real body, pictures. Oh my God. <laughs> so like, gross. No, right? I'm not like, He's I'm like, not going to fuck him. Oh, like, right, right, no. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. But I was, like, he's very us. charming. He's like Dr. Hot. Like, I think it's like if you yeah. saw him in a hospital, you'd be like, wow, that's a good looking doctor. Well, that's doctor. true. They, they, everyone, by all accounts, he was like a bit hotter and more charming before he like had his downfall. Yeah, yeah. Um, can I say a digression yeah. on this? And then I have one more thing to say about mm-hmm. this woman who yeah. paid, posed as a doctor. So yeah. like Dr. Hottie, because if you're a doctor, like the bar is lower. And I feel oh. like if you're like a woman in the hospital and there's a doctor's around, I don't know about you guys, like you're like on the lookout. You're like, let's keep an eye out for a hot doctor (laughs) and i've been trying to make this into like a stand-up bit but it's a bit grim but it's so funny um a few years ago like two or three years ago i think like when my um my grandmother was very ill and like dying we were like at the hospital with her a lot and i remember the day that she got like the news like we knew that she was very unwell and things like that but like the brain doctor came in he was like a neurologist came in and he sat down and he was really lovely and he like gave like a big spiel that was basically like the big talk being like it's not good and it was very emotional and then he left and this guy was like a doctor he was lovely he was like in his mid-30s he left and then my mom was literally crying and she was wiping away tears and she goes (laughs) He wasn't wearing a wedding ring, Lauren. <laughs> oh, my God. She just found out that my grandmother is going to die. Her mother, her first words, he leaves the room. And she's like, Lauren, he wasn't married and he was really nice, wasn't he? Can I be nice oh if you God. fucked him? <laughs> I think that is very funny. And also, I feel like that's, Lauren, that I can see you in your mother's position one day saying the exact same thing <laughs> oh, to yeah. your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> That's our priority. Like, 
Mothers always want free doctors, though, in the family. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. no matter your yeah. ethnicity, race, class, yeah. if you're dating a doctor, your whole family knows about it. It goes out they're in the newsletter, yeah. and they're like, like the- we're saved, guys. <laughs> yeah. We're saved. What? When I started dating Ben, whose father is a doctor, I actually sent out a press release to everyone I knew. I was like, get across this. This is really important. Hey, guys. Um, sort of yeah, I'm marrying up. in. It's ideal. <laughs> also, do you agree um, with this? Sorry, just quickly on this bang something and then you say it, Lauren. But just like the fact that it's like a girl, like Dr. Death, I was like, bad, bad men are the worst. Like, this is just further proof. That- and, but <laughs> the fact that it's a woman, I'm like, okay, go off, queen. It's just yeah. up. It's different. <laughs> There's not enough women in the con game. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Or in the medical industry. So that if we yes. fake it, that doesn't matter. Just go. Let them go. That was, okay, that was literally my point that I wanted to say next. <laughs> I wanted to say, like, am I crazy? Because when I heard this news story, my first thought was not, like, Dr. Death. And if it was mm. a man, I'd be like, Dr. Death. Mm. But my first thought was, like, 27-year-old woman pretends to be a doctor for nine months? I was like, go off, queen. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> go and off. Like, Dr. Death, like, that guy was, like, killing and maiming people. I bet this woman, yeah. like, hasn't ha- harmed a fly. I'm sure she was really, like, sweet yes. and maternal and maybe gave, like, really great advice and just, like, I she just think it's different. She probably just <laughs> failed her exam and was, like, freaking out and she was mm. like, well, okay, I'm just gonna apply. And, like, we're in a medical crisis. Like, she had a lot of the training. She was probably, like, doing good work. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 I think she's a hero. Okay, yeah. big, big natural talents give her a big tick, and she'll be our new doctor. <laughs> we will refer everyone to her. Get her on the pod. Um, I mean, if she's not a real doctor, then I don't think she's actually under oath. Oh, so yeah. she can probably yes. tell you people's dirty secrets. <laughs> she could. She's it's- like, well, yeah, I'm actually not under, like, you know, patient <laughs> privilege because I'm not really a doctor. So I'm just like a lady that they told secrets to. And this guy had a really fucked up dick. <laughs> <laughs> She's our dream podcast guest. Um, oh Lauren, what's God. the story you have in there about a fecal transplant? <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah. And I already knew about a these what? things, but I knew Conchetta wouldn't know about this. But I thought, Beck, maybe <laughs> you might. because I 100% listeners... know about this. Oh, really? I don't. Oh, yes. yes. So let's click in I've mind. got a shitty ass. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a medical practice called a fecal transplant, and it is more or less <laughs> what it sounds like because um, I'm also a big advocate for gut health and the gut microbiome being the future of medicine. Um Everyone have your probiotics, eat a healthy diet, la la la. And can tell like that's what's wrong with you. Mm. It's your gut health. There's something going on. But I am pro um, like feces and talking about that. So we've But sort yeah, of got you're both very ends. pro feces. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out both ends. Um, but there's this medical procedure called a fecal transplant. And it basically is you get like the feces, the shit of a healthy person. No. And they they say um transplant, but it is they like you eat it. Like they no. put it in like a capsule or something. It goes into yep. your stomach. Like you are, it's like taken orally. You eat the shit and their gut bacteria flourishes and fixes your stomach. And it's like shown to be amazing. They've like put done it with mice. Now they've done young mice shit. They feed like old mice young shit and they like live longer and stuff like that. Can but I tell you what? It remind- yeah, sorry. You, uh, I'll tell you one more anecdote. Yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> I heard of, I remember, because I've been around fecal transplants for a while, because I'm like, I want to get me one of those. Okay. Um, they, I read a story ages ago about a woman who got a fecal transplant, and she'd always been a really healthy or like a not, I mean, healthy weight is not a term that we use in the body positive community, but a normal average weight. She got a, hel- a fecal transplant from an overweight person, and she instantly like gained all this weight. <gasps> Wow! And I was like, "Whoa! Like, how crazy is that?" I've hey, heard the like, opposite. I've heard that oh, really? of like some, like as someone who is like uh, of a larger size. Uh, I don't know if we're allowed what to say anymore. Um, yeah. But, what are we saying? <laughs> <laughs> cancel me. Um. So, but they got like a skinny person's shit in them, and yeah. they lost like a ton of no. weight just like instantly. Right. Yeah. Oh, so that's why I'm like oh M. Radajowski. Shit in a cup. <laughs> Put it in the mail. Send oh it to me because I want to eat her yes. shit and I want to grow her tits and get her waist oh. and stuff. Wow. Sorry. So is this like a thing yeah. that's happening or is it like still being approved or something? No, it's happening. It's real. It's been around for ages because I almost yeah. got one of these. What? Oh, my yes. God. Yes. Oh, my God. So when yes. I was uh, – <laughs> get into it. And this is – um, 
By the way, Lauren, I know you don't want this to become a shitting podcast, but this is probably yeah. the nastiest Too late. shitting Too late, story. <laughs> I so, started it. I started it today. <laughs> I'll, I'll cop this. I'll cop this one. <laughs> but I had like awful IBS when I was 19 years old. Like could like I and at the end of the day, we found out that I was just like mad constipated and needed to have fiber <gasps> supplements. But it was like months of like testing and going on all these diets and stuff. Right. And it got to a point where I had to do uh, a colonoscopy and endoscopy. <gasps> yeah, which is where they take a camera and they put it yeah. in your mouth, oh, and they take whoa. another camera and they Both put it in your butt. Yeah, but wow, yeah. they meet in the middle. Yeah. Down, double, yeah, and the, double. Yeah. What's that thing where it's like <laughs> you're getting put on the spit by the doctor? <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're being put on the spit. We uh, got spit roasted. Was medical. Um, <laughs> Medical spit roast. It was Dr. Yeah. Dick. And Oscar B. and a colonoscopy. <laughs> For science. Um, By Dr. Whoa. Dick. Oh, yeah. my God. So, and what happened was it went awfully wrong because... <gasps> Because they give you the, like, the week beforehand, you have to take, like, a series of laxatives that get, like, yeah, more and more no. severe. Yeah. No. So you just, like, you have to completely you clean empty out yourself the camera. out. Yeah. Yeah. And so oh, it got That's to, what like, I do before I'm, like, on camera normally as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <a> big old turd. <laughs> Wait, so what happened, Beck? Sorry. So, right, it got to, like, uh, the night beforehand, and it had been a whole week, and I hadn't shat. Like, that's how bad my <gasps> IBS was. Like, would not respond to oh, the no. laxatives. Oh, right, one God. of the laxatives was, like, you got this, like, bag of powder. No. And you put it into, like, a gallon jug, and you drink the whole gallon oh, of drug, like, God. of water over the day. And at this point, like, it's all in you like yeah it's backed up all in you oh, yeah. Week of oh, no. <laughs> yeah and i'm in so much pain but like this like it costs like so much to do and like there's a massive wait list so you can't reschedule right <gasps> so i just like i just i went in and i was like guys i'm so so i haven't i haven't oh. shit i don't want to tell you and the lady's like well we have to do an enema unfortunately <gasps> right and so <laughs> My mouth has so, been open for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> it gets, well, you're going to want to shut it now because she's about to get an enema, right? <laughs> so, like, so what they do is they get, like, uh, a little syringe of water. Like, not a lot. Like, it's, like, a, just a syringe of water, right? And they pump it into your butthole, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. And then immediately you need to shit. No, no Everywhere. Way. Immediately. But they say, no, you have to count backwards from 10, right? Then... Stand up because you're lying no. on your side. Stand up. No. Walk to the bathroom <laughs> and then shit. No, no, no. no so like, no. so we, like immediately, sushi puts the water, and I'm like, I, I have to shit right now. And she's like, No, we're going backwards from ten. And I was like, <laughs> Fuck. I'm like gripping the table with both hands, like just be like, Oh my god. And she gets this. She's like, One, go. And I like waddle as fast as I can to the bathroom. I shit like crazy. I was like, I honestly so much shit. It was nuts. Wow. And then I came back out, and I was like, All right, I shat. We're good to go. And then she goes. Did the water run clear? And I was like, what? And she's like, the water run clear. Did it, did it come out clear? And I was like, no. And she's like, <gasps> we have to go again. So then, <laughs> oh, there's still my more. God, this feels so like then, a movie script for like, I don't know, Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> it's like high stakes. I'm, Why I'm not like finish sweating. yet? <laughs> So then, so then we go again immediately. Oh she's no. like, immediately the water's in. I'm like, I have to shit. And she's like, we have to go back from 10. We get to six. I can't hold it. I run to the bathroom, right? I come back and she's like, did the water run clear? And I looked at her with tears in my eyes and I said, no, ma'am. <gasps> <laughs> and so again, right? Whoa. And then again, water in the butt. Get, we only get to eight. We get to eight and I'm like, eight back to the bathroom. Times. Right. And so then I like, are we counting back from, back from oh, 10? Oh, sorry. So she's yeah, like, yeah, 10, yeah, yeah. It's getting nine, shorter and shorter. Yeah. I, and I was like, no, we got to go. Right. And so then I come back and I lie to her. She's like, did the water run clear? And I was like, yes. And she's like, you're, you're lying. lying. Oh, she knew. <laughs> she's so going to bo- know when she like puts yeah. a camera up there. She's like, okay, she was lying. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm just like, I just don't want to do this again. This is so, I'm 19. I'm at my fucking prime. Everyone so wants true. to fuck me. Why is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but then after the fourth time, it ran clear, and I like oh, I just jumped for joy. I was like, "This is oh my god!" Insane. And so sorry, you're saying you had IBS for all those years, but mm. you found out you what were constipated all that time. Yeah. Cause... So my gut bacteria was so bad that <gasps> I was just like constantly. They were like, "You just need to take these like very like uh, intense like probiotics and eat yeah. this diet that is nothing but like meat and like." green vegetables for like the yeah. next like six okay, months sorry, this sounds like exactly what i need to do <laughs> yeah like i just need to like i just know for a fact yeah. my gut bacteria is like it's just not good they're like chilling out they haven't worked in years down there. <laughs> oh but okay the best thing sorry this is genuine advice um cut yeah. out onions and garlic that's what? like yes onions and garlic are really really bad for your gut health you're f- kidding me yeah yeah, I don't. I don't touch onions or garlic, and I like. I that's the only <gasps> really thing that I've cut out, and it's crazy. It's been a dream. She, it's did you know that? Love? Die. Love? I'd rather have the saline injected in my <laughs> ass than never eat garlic I'd rather, again. I'd rather do four enemas than stop having yeah. garlic as an Italian I'd rather, woman. <laughs> I'd rather have saline pumped into my asshole at least like twice a year <laughs> than never have garlic again. Um, oh my god! No, I eat lots of mental. garlic and onion, but my gut health is fine. Yeah, so. she's got great flora down there. We love I'm to hear. I'm yes, privileged. Baby. I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> well, yeah. All I was gonna say is when you started saying fecal transplant, I was immediately like, "Let me eat shit. Let's do it. I'll do whatever it takes. Give it to me. You don't <laughs> even need to hear the evidence. You don't need to hear any of it. You're like, give me some. Give me, give me." <laughs> Holy shit! I'm oh. exa- like I'm like, physically exhausted from that story, but like in a great way. But just like I want to lie down, I just like <laughs> need a day, and I, I wasn't even experiencing that. So I was so like a little bit of a sweat telling it because I'm just like, oh yeah, my God, I'm back there, God. I'm back on the table, yeah, I'm That's- back on the table. <laughs> Dr. Death is over me. He's got a syringe. <laughs> oh, my God. Beck, I feel like this is a great transition into Goss. Like, what have yes. you brought from your life, from your lo- like, yeah. everything? What have we got? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm so excited. So, I have two big pieces of gossip. Um <gasps> So uh, it was very hard. Uh, there's so much gossip in my life. Also, looking back at all the <laughs> gossip, I was like going through high school and I was like, oh, I was thinking all these stories like, oh, it's all me. It's all me being an absolute <laughs> fuckhead. <laughs> Just like doing the worst shit, like being an absolute nightmare. Um, so I was like, no, let's push that to the no, side. No, no, um, no. If- That's let's the suppress therapy. that narrative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But and then I realized that I do have some gossip um, that involves your boyfriend, Conchetta, Mr. Ben <gasps> Cochen. Oh, please don't say you've had sex. I will literally pass. No. It. Oh, I'll my God. Like- no. <laughs> Darling, I would never. No, it would no. be like a great – it actually would be like, fine, a great compliment. Um, <laughs> no, okay. She's sweating. No. I can already tell. <laughs> She had a tears running down her face. No, it'd actually be fine. It'd actually be so funny if you guys had hooked up. She's like got a gun behind her back yeah. pointing at Ben yeah. on the couch. <laughs> Sorry, go, go, go back. I'm excited. No, go, okay. go, seriously. <laughs> so, in... <laughs> No, Beck is allowed to sleep with Ben. Lauren isn't. She's out I'm of bounds. Not. But Beck I'm has my consent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Okay, so um, way back, I think it was like 2017 or uh, 2018, uh, me, Ben, and Pat Doherty did mm-hmm. uh, the best trippable friend show of all time, A Pat yeah. on the Beck featuring Ben Carson. The uh, greatest poster yeah. I've seen yes. for a show. We'll have to put it up. Such a good Thank poster. Thank you so much. And I'm desperate for us to do a tour again just so we can use yes. the poster art. Um, yeah. <laughs> I put in so much effort. Anyway, so we were sharing, uh, we were at Perth Fringe and we were sharing an Airbnb. And for context, uh, I was having the worst mental breakdown of my mm. entire 
live. Like I just come yeah, out well, the you most. You were at a comedy hectic- festival, yeah. so <laughs> yeah. <it's a> <laughs> oh gosh, I was literally like, okay, I don't know if this is too much. If it's too heavy, cut this out. But like, literally the month beforehand, I had like gotten an abortion and mm. gotten herpes right oh in my the God. same month. It was big, an awful big time. Big <laughs> yeah. month for your pussy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, she'll never write again. Um, <laughs> So anyway, I was just like uh, going to these shows. They were awful. I was crying every oh. night, like mm. just uh, so, so bad. Meanwhile, Pat and Ben are having the time of their oh fucking God. lives. <laughs> right. And it's people like- who we've talked about it a bit on the pod, like Ben just being pretty happy-go-lucky, like loves yeah. to just go to the gym, eat salmon, do comedy. Um, he's a Pat simple Doherty's man. Kinda, yeah, Pat is <laughs> like, like that a bit, but he's also like just a bigger character. Like he's literally like six foot something lanky mm. just like a quirky guy being like oh hey and like uh, you just go to a cafe with him and he's like acquainted with all of the waitresses because yeah. so, i've yes. done a big tour with pat as well and he just walks into a cafe and it's not even creepy if he was an old man it'd be Mm-mm. creepy but he walks in and he's just like oh my god you have such beautiful hair like do you look around <laughs> here what's going on like to the waitress and it's not weird yes i don't know why but he's a lot yeah that's mm. exactly like he just has like this chart. I think because he's like super tall and has big yeah. blue eyes. People mm. are if you're just tall like, enough. You can do anything. He's like a snake <laughs> doing that like hypnotizing snake dance. And everyone's like, oh my god, yes. What do Literally. you want? What do you need? I'll give it to you. <laughs> anyway, so him and Ben are like working out together every day, going in the sauna, <laughs> like going out at night, just like seeing shows, drinking, having the best time. All right, and like so. One night, uh, I, I, like, fully cracked in the festival bar, and I just, like, had, like, a full panic attack and was crying. I, like, ran out of the festival club and, like, threw myself on the concrete and was, like, just, like, Whoa. crying and, like, couldn't breathe, right? And, like, Pat came over, Pat came over and did, like, a great job of, yes. like, consoling me. Um, and then he's, like, it's okay. Go back to the Airbnb. Chill out. Like, we'll come check on you later. All right. Hard cut to me (laughs) i got to like it's like 6 a.m and i hear like the door open and i hear ben and pat come in and they're like falling all over the place and i was like that's so weird what the fuck um i go back to sleep i wake up right and there's a mattress on the balcony right just like and i was like okay someone's pissed the bed one of these (gasps) boys (laughs) <laughs> uh oh! As this is the bed, right? So I I wake up and I'm like, guys, what's going on? What's this? so? And I remember Pat was on the couch, so I was like, no, Ben was on the couch. Ben was on the couch and Pat was in the bed, and I was like, okay, so Ben's pissed the bed then. <laughs> and so then when everyone woke up, I like we had a conference in the Airbnb because we're like. <laughs> Not press conference. <laughs> yeah, I am um, house meeting. Um. Yeah, <laughs> I want my deposit back, motherfuckers. So, and this is what okay, this is what Pat says happens, and no one fucking believes him, <gasps> right? So he's like, "What Uh-oh. happened is we came home, right? <laughs> ben and me went to bed, right? Ben clearly pissed the like woke up in the <gasps> night, pissed the bed." <laughs> then <laughs> then woke up and was like oh no I've pissed the bed put it out on the like veranda <laughs> and then slept on the couch right but this is what Ben says and I fucking believe him is that he woke up in the night to go to the bathroom right where you piss where it's normal to piss right came back Pat was on his bed right for some reason had changed the night Pissing. so Ben went to sleep on the piss mattress and then woke up was like, oh shit, there's piss. Oh so was, so, my god. So Ben so, woke up in the night to piss, goes to the bathroom, yes. and then he comes back to his bed and Pat is sleeping in his bed? Yes. Or pissing on his sleeping, bed. Sleeping no, sleeping in Ben's bed because Pat has pissed the bed. Clearly. Oh, that's what because happened. Pat has pissed his bed, so yes. he took Ben's bed. Yes. So to this day he <gasps> lies. He lies and he lies and he oh. says Ben's a bed pisser, and I'm putting the rumors to bed. 
Oh my well, god, this is incredible, well. Ben. I wish he was yeah. home. Yeah, is he <laughs> next to you? Damn. He just left um, because we would have to get from the horse's mouth. But God damn. But he's God. not a bad pisser and he was friends. And if you hear anything otherwise, can shut up. Yeah. No, you have a good man. <laughs> Thank you. Can I just say the best. Ben's whole thing, like since he was a kid, he says it's like telling the truth. Like that man doesn't lie, doesn't believe in lying, gets upset if Mm-mm. I lie, like is a man that like that's his. <laughs> yeah. And it makes sense for a simple man. It's just easier to tell the truth. And so uh, that's where I'm like, you know, but also I would love if my man pissed the bed. Like, that mean, man needs something <laughs> bad to happen to him. He hasn't shit himself, and that drives me crazy. I would love for him to piss the bed, so I'm not even biased in that regard. I'd love if the story had him pissing the bed, but I, I agree with you, Beck. I think Pat is using his charm to pretend he, he didn't do it. When it's like, Pat, just you piss the bed. Get just over it, man. Just you piss the bed. It. Yeah. Also, okay. they, like, they were like, yeah, we went to a strip club last night to like 5 a.m. with Tom Cashman, by the way, which oh, is such God. a weird group that of people. Well, well, well. well, Tom Cashman is a comedian and he's like a big nerd and he would have been like, <laughs> ladies, do you mind if I tip you in Bitcoin? Um, and then he'd make like a big chart about it, like yeah. uh, his erection <laughs> at the beginning <laughs> and the end and shit. <laughs> this is a graph about how excited you are to go to a strip club. See, at the beginning, when it's just an idea, you're going to the strip club you're very excited then you get to the strip club and it's actually quite scary <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's a what yeah. a story crazy that 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 I that's will amazing draw, um so ben that's my bit later. of gossip that's that's but also i'm just like you know i it was actually also really interesting to hear your like mental health state you know we've got to normalize having a bad time at a fucking festival <laughs> yeah we need yeah. to normalize yeah, we need to normalize having a mental breakdown at a comedy festival, and that's something that I myself have taken great strides in <laughs> in doing yeah. and attempting to normalize. And I hope to further provide representation for women having a breakdown at comedy festivals at the Melbourne Comedy Festival 2022. So please come along. Yeah, that is so um, join in a breakdown. You if can you're listen- like, if you're a listener and you're like, "Ooh, do I buy tickets?" It's like if that doesn't give you a reason to, you're a fucking yeah. monster. So. Actually, you have to because if you don't, I'll cry, and if you do, I'll yeah. cry. And I'm probably yeah. upset either way, so you may as well be there. <laughs> That's so funny. If you, yeah, if you want to hear um, the rough time Lauren had at um, a festival, <laughs> we have that in a past step called Stand Up Comedy is an Art Form. But also, Beck, what made oh, me yeah. laugh about your story <laughs> was you're lucky that Pat came out to console you and give you advice. Because if that was Ben, my Ben caution, <laughs> that man would have had no clue what to do. That man would have been out. disassociated with me the whole time that we were in Perth. He was like, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just here to have a good time. I don't know what's Our going on. Analysts. I don't know how to deal with this. He literally has a joke about being like, he prefers small talk about the weather than like talking to people about serious stuff. He'd be like, oh, there's a couple <laughs> yeah. nice sunny days coming up back i'm sure it'll be fine <laughs> he would see you lying on the street crying and he'd be like oh, got a case of the weepies <laughs> it's maddening it is maddening um that idiot okay beck what is your next piece i'm dying to hear it okay so um it better not be about my boyfriend <laughs> no. like, you don't I'll- even know him that well <laughs> He's nothing but an angel and a kind person. Thank you. Um, don't know if he's a bed pisser. I'm we'll find out over we'll time. We'll find out. Yeah. Okay. I'll ask him. All right. So uh, my next piece of gossip uh, is uh, a personal story um, of the time I slept with someone's fiance. <gasps> um, oh, wow. Yes. Oh, yes. Spicy. Um, unknowingly, Avi, I'm not. The yep. worst person of all time. So what happened Absolutely. was I Martino was no shade though. I don't know. Yeah, I would have been ready. Yeah. I would have been ready either way. No worries. I'm like, yeah. I'm on your side. <laughs> this is a judgment free zone. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so all right. So I was 19. Uh, backed up to the heavens with shit. But looking- <laughs> <laughs> three, four enemas. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But looking. Hot as hell, uh, going out to nightclubs and stuff, right? And I met this guy out at a nightclub one time, and he was like, let's go home and fuck. And I was like, no, I'm not that kind of girl. Hard cut to the next week. I'm out again. I text him. I'm like, <laughs> what's up? Let's fuck. Right? Yeah. So yeah, you gave we- a week. That's like you yeah. some pride and prejudice shit. <laughs> I'm a princess. Um, 
So we like we uh, hook up. We go back to his place. We do the deed, right? He's like uh, weirdly, he's like a ton of tennis trophies, and he took like so long just like explaining all of his tennis accolades. And I was like, okay, this is so fucking weird, right? Was this uh, man engaged to Beck Cartwright? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Layton, Layton Hewitt. Um, <laughs> God, he loves no, you the Beck. In Who Weekly, new idea if that were the case. Um, But this man was not as prestigious of a tennis player. Um, (laughs) So, all right, the next day I'm hungover as fuck. All right, I'm at a first aid course um, because let's save some fucking lives. (laughs) Um, I'm about to destroy a bitch's life. Let's revive some other people. Uh, And I get, like, nine missed calls from this guy. I get, like, a ton of missed calls from this other number. I've got, like, all these messages going off. It's like, you're a fucking slight. You're a filthy (gasps) little whore. You fucking destroyed, like, a two-year engagement. And this (gasps) bitch had seen my messages in this guy's phone. I had no idea. So I'm, like, (laughs) reading these messages under the table, just like trying not to cry and they're like all right so it's 30 pumps and then two breaths <laughs> staying <laughs> alive let's sing it all together <laughs> now so if like, someone's oh dying like you won't have like ptsd of like this person's dying this is the trauma yeah. it, like the cpr will like bring back the trauma of this mm. that's amazing <laughs> oh fuck not the end of the story though so i felt awful i felt so so bad i messaged the guys like you're a fucking piece of shit how dare you do this to this poor girl i'm so fucking ashamed right didn't hear from him blocked him on everything <gasps> uh and her as well like i i blocked her on everything um and didn't hear anything then hard cut to about a year and a half ago right i get this message from uh, <gasps> someone I used to do personal training with, right? And it's an MLM message. We stand a boss bitch. Um, Wait, I don't know what that is. What's MLM? Oh so my multi-level god. marketing. Oh my god. So <laughs> oh, uh, oh, so it's like okay, people yeah. who like sell essential oils and yeah. like stuff and or, or like sorry, I got shakes it. or okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so she's like, hey, queen, I have this great business <laughs> opportunity. And I was like, okay, right. And she's like, me and my business partner, da-da-da, right. And I was like, why does that name look so familiar, right? And I look at her profile, and it's the same bitch I slept with her fiancé. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you were like, hey, queen, I'm keen. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, remember hey, me. Queen. Let me into this partnership. How bad do you want the commission? <laughs> Honestly, I was like, is this a way to guilt me into, like, buying this stuff? And, like, honestly, I was like, do I just buy a few sh- shipments to be like, I'm so sorry that I fucked <laughs> oh your fiancé. I feel so, Whoa. so bad. Okay, right. wait, do you know if they got married? Are they together? No, 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 no. I did, like, a deep stalk of her profile. Right. I was like, okay, right. she got the fuck out of there. Oh my yes. Out. She's single she's running a small business she's killing it she's better off without it (laughs) she's a boss bitch um that's amazing that's crazy yeah yeah so that's my my... little bit of gossip a little bit of gossip and then you reach out to her and you're like hey queen what's up you should hang out (laughs) you should should talk about it i'm actually doing a show perth fringe if you want some tickets (laughs) Oh my god, what an asshole. God. Yeah. yeah. That is so dodgy. Well, lucky that Hectic. all like came out. That's it was the way it was meant to go. Yeah, it came full circle in the end. It came full circle. You're actually and a guardian angel. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> you said and like even like a two year engagement, like, babe, he wasn't that into you. Two years? Lock it <laughs> yeah. down. Doesn't take two years to plan a wedding, honey. Yeah. What's he doing? Dragging his feet. Once again, dragging his feet. He's at the strip club with Cashman, Caution, and the one. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my Beck. God. Well, Thank you for awesome. your gossip. Man. Yeah, we've got some yeah. um, listener gossip as well, if you wanted to get into that. You ready to get into that? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, my it. God. I'm so excited. Okay. How about um, I'll do this one first then? Yeah. So this is um, like this person has said that it happened in the olden days. So I'm going to assume like grandparents age era. 
Um, and it was a lady who like lived overseas um, and she sent her daughter to stay with her brother. So the, the, the girl's uncle, does this make sense? It's always so confusing when there's like family stuff going on. Yeah. yeah. So this woman sent her daughter to go live in Australia with her brother, the, her daughter's uncle. Um, and then the daughter was 16 at the time. And this is the olden days. So I don't know. I'd say things like are different. It's black and white. Back things then. are different. There's yeah. a different time. And anyway, <laughs> so she was just meant to stay for the summer, but then, um, time goes on and she calls her mum and says, look, me and my uncle have become really close and we're actually in love and we're going to get married. Oh. And they seriously got married and they got married and then what? they never, they never had kids like, and they said it was like to be safe because they knew it was incest. Like, that's like, if they had what kids the and I'd be like, then you're like, fuck? just not getting that it's incest, that it's like weird. But they were like, yeah, this is incest. We shouldn't have children to be safe. So they never had kids to be safe. Um, and then like, yeah. And then her mother, like the the girl's mother and sister to the guy she married like just like flies to australia regularly and like stays in their house and like plays happy family basically because they're still together so they're still together they're still alive what? today so i assume this just happened in like the 50s <laughs> i mean 60s. i guess it's true love then you can't argue yeah. with it see so. that's like a beautiful story compared to how it ended for that other girl <laughs> yeah they it's never like, had this kids. is how it should be <laughs> it's safe this is what a healthy relationship looks like, babe. It's not a two-year um, engagement. It's honey. not a two-year engagement. It's six months at your uncle's house, and you just fall in love. <laughs> and that's that. We, and that's that. He's not stringing you along. We found love in a hopeless place. Um, that is a gorgeous piece of <laughs> incest gossip. I have um, gossip from a listener. Um, bit of a change of pace. She said, when my auntie died of cancer, her husband hooked up with her nan. And then they got married. And it was a so this huge was, family scandal. This was the woman who died's mother. So it'd be like he married he hooked up with and then married his mother in law of his yes. dead wife. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Reactions. And, and <laughs> uh, half the family disowned them in shock and horror. And the other half believed my uncle's claim that my auntie encouraged the union from her deathbed. That's timely. No. That's like a perfect excuse. That like man the last is a liar. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Just like Imagine Pat Doherty. That. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you're on your deathbed, you're on your deathbed, and you've got then your boyfriend beside you, or back your boyfriend, Alex. My boyfriend is also called Alex. You're on your deathbed, and you're just like, baby, please, when I die, fuck my mom. <laughs> like, that's what he claimed. <laughs> And then he was like, I will fuck your mom for you. <laughs> Crazy. That's wild. That's yeah. like just insane. God, that's oh my God. gossip is everywhere. It's so crazy. Incest is like so much more common. Now, like mm. on t- I don't know if you guys have seen any of these TikToks. I get one like once a month <laughs> where someone's mean? like, I'm an incest baby. No. Or like, yes. Or like, um, uh, I'm in love with my brother. So what? Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, exactly the wow. same thing of like, don't worry. We're not going to have kids. We're going to adopt adopt so like fuck you there's nothing wrong with it and it's like what what do you mean what do you mean i wonder if they've made any inroads in like genetics and like making people like there'd be less chance of deformities and stuff i don't know if there's a lot of money in science that would be willing to donate (laughs) to that cause i've started to go fund me incest babies (laughs) healthy i'm sure you donate today (laughs) <laughs> do genetic testing and stuff and because if, if you mm. do like IVF you can do like genetic testing for defects and stuff because I know it's not incest but like if both parents have like certain genes like I've got a friend who has in her family the gene for um, cystic fibrosis and so before her and her partner have kids he's like got to get tested for that gene to see if he has it because then oh. their child could be very ill and then I think if he has it, then they do like um, IVF and like make sure that it's healthy and stuff. So that's pretty hectic. So I'm sure yeah. you could like Holy do that shit. in an incest scenario as well. Yeah. We <laughs> should reach out to them and let them know that they have <laughs> an option. I should let them know as well that like if they are brother and sister, like you can tell me it's okay. Like, <laughs> 
There's ways around it, okay? Nice. We're just... Every, it's a lot of people on TikTok doing it now, so it's like... There's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Well, God, I, I feel like that was like a bumper episode of yeah. gossip and stories. <gasps> um, Becky, you were amazing. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you. My absolute pleasure. This is real fun. Um, um, I don't know if this is normal. We're in lockdown, but like, do you... Oh, we should plug your podcast. You have a gorgeous, fantastic yes. podcast. What do you want to plug? Uh, yes, I have a podcast called The Lady's Guide to Dude Cinema um, with my best friend in the whole world, apart from you ladies, of course, uh, Alex J. <laughs> Alex J, total queen. Um, yeah, it's where we watch all the movies that dudes have told us that we have to see. Lauren and Conchetta have been past guests. Um, Hell yeah. Was Lars, what abs- was your movie? What did you I do? Watched, um, we watched the movie Animal House. Do you know it? It's like yes, you were old... our first ever guest. Oh my yeah. god, that's so nice. And it was yeah. um, which Belushi, uh, Belushi, John not, Belushi, John Belushi. Um, I know. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god, already like that's like the whole <laughs> thing of the podcast is that like dudes who are like you haven't seen this movie. As soon as I said that, I was like, oh my god, so many men are going to be like mad at me for yeah. being like <laughs> obviously it wasn't Jim Belushi. Jim Belushi sucks. Yeah. John Belushi doesn't know <laughs> that. Yeah, so one of those old, dirty comedy movies like Mm. like John Belushi and they're running around and there's, like, titties and they're, like, peeping through girls' Mm. windows and stuff. It was pretty crazy. But it's The way movies should be. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Bring it back. Mm. (laughs) Uh, We also fucked up. Conchetta, you were also the only guest that we completely fucked up. We recorded a whole episode. Oh, yeah. Over at the equipment and I was like, we recorded (gasps) nothing. The whole time oh, we so sat there, nothing was we, happening. It we slayed it. We slayed it. I know. Um, we felt so bad for wasting your time to this day. No. We double check everything now because we're like, we can't oh, let wow. the Conchetta Cristo incident Remember. happen again. <laughs> we can't do it to people. It's awful. I actually loved it. I mean, I, as usual, I have nowhere to be, nothing to do, don't know any news. So I'm going anywhere. <laughs> anywhere anyone invites me, I'm happy to be there. It's probably all I've got on for the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One thing a day. That's what I like to do. What movie did you watch, Conchetta? <laughs> oh, so what was the, wasn't the first movie we watched Wall Street? Um, Wolf yeah. Of Wall Street. And oh, that it was, was in or... The Hangover and then we did Wolf of, no, we did uh, Wolf, of Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street, Street. did work and then we did, then the, we hangover. did the Hangover. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, and I can't even remember if I, like, I felt strongly about, I remember it would have been the same thing. You get me to watch this movie and then I'm like, I have actually nothing to say. I thought it was like, fine yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah. I have no yeah. funny riffs or takes it was on a- it. <laughs> A fine film that I yeah. <laughs> yeah. No comments you guys, you guys are a lot better at it than us. So go listen to that Stop podcast it. and um, really. see back when live things happening. Oh, and we did that crazy show Australia now and then. You can watch us. Oh yes, that. all yeah. of us. And for the next like three weeks, I think we're on TV. So <laughs> this episode will come out. What day is it today? Oh, it'll come out pretty soon actually. Next, so yeah, it'll so yeah. tonight on Channel Seven at nine o'clock. We are all on this crazy show. It's called Australia Now and Then. It's kind of like talking heads of people talking about stuff. And we three were some of the youngest people that the media mm. could find. So yep. we are the voices of Generation <laughs> Z. And we don't remember what we said, but it's crazy. Mm-mm. Last episode, Conchetta yeah. looked into the camera <laughs> sincerely and nodded. And she said, Minecraft. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to get that clip. and I'm going to cut it out. I've got to make it a gift. Like, oh my God. Minecraft. Full behind the scenes gossip for everyone listening. None of us have ever played Minecraft in our Never, fucking lives. Ever. No. And every no. single producer was like, say that you love Minecraft. Yeah, absolutely. Say, say that you love it. <laughs> yeah. And because we're like doing our first TV gig of all time, we're like, yes, okay, Mr. Producer. I, yes, I love Minecraft. Just tell me what to say. Like, I'm not a seven year old boy. Like, that's who plays Minecraft. Imagine if I did play Minecraft. I'm a 27 year old woman, okay? Yeah, where's mm. where's your baby, if anything? You know <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Anyway, it's, it's crazy. Oh. It's hosted by Shane Jacobson, who is the man in show business that I think looks the most like my dad. So I'm currently mm. inclined to start telling people that he is my dad. And yeah. I believe it will <laughs> be a big leg up. Previously, I have said that Mick Malloy is my dad, um, but oh, I think mine... he's a great dad. And yeah. my dad, my dad's Anthony Lapalia. <laughs> I've decided. Or oh, Vince Colosimo. Both Vince Col- Lauren. Ooh, I like Vince Colosimo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's your dad back? Oh, I haven't picked one yet. Um, um, okay, let's think. Let's think. Okay. Who's like a handsome brunette man? 
Mm. Who's someone like? What if we said like Tommy Little or something? We made him like feel really <laughs> bad oh, about like we like yes. age him up, you know? Because he'd be like, "I'm not old enough to be Beck's dad." But we'll be like, "Well, you're older than you let on, Tommy. You're yeah. older than you let on." <laughs> Fuck yes, let's spread this rumor. Oh my yeah. god, some yes. gossip yes. from the spread- pod. Gossip from us. Let's spread the rumor that Tommy Little is 57 years old. Um, oh my god, it's mental to say that because like I don't know him at all, so I shouldn't be talking yeah. smack. <laughs> That's gonna end up in like the project, like yeah, Facebook group. Whatever. They're gonna be yeah. like a certain podcast said that a certain <laughs> Sydney comedian's dad is Tommy Little's Tommy estranged Little. daughter speaks for the first time. <laughs> he had me when he was 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my oh mum is actually Effie, so this oh, is the dream. Yeah. For you. The dream yeah. I love. Oh, well, thank you so much, Beck. We love you and adore you. Um, oh, thanks, Leigh. This this has been fantastic. This what is a treat. I love this podcast so much. It's fantastic. You guys <laughs> oh, fucking kill thank it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Please check out Beck on uh, at Beck Loves Food at Instagram. Her podcast is The Ladies Guide to Dude Cinema. They also have a Patreon that you can check out, and then you can watch all of us together on Channel Seven, nine o'clock Tuesday, Australia now and then. Um, Beck, have I missed anything? No, you've absolutely smashed it. I do also have some off-air gossip I would like to tell you guys. Um, oh, right, my that'll God. That'll be immediately when we stop recording. The real gossip happens. <laughs> Thank um, you so much for that. <laughs> um, listeners, please send us your gossip, though, if you would like to read it out. Um, you can send it to bignaturaltalents at gmail.com in a voice recording or as text. Or We've got the curious cat as well, which is totally anonymous. Or you can DM us on Instagram. Big Natural Talents. Please follow us as well. Like, rate, subscribe, review. And That's live, laugh, love. That's live, it. All right. Laugh, love. <laughs> Mask See up. Ne- stay inside. <laughs> okay, we love you. See you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.